in this video i'm going to discuss about mountains so mountain is a large natural elevation of the earth surface rising abruptly from the surrounding level so when we compare with the surrounding level these are large elevations natural elevations mountain ridge is a system of long narrow and high hills so it's not too broad and it's long narrow high hills they are long narrow as well as they are high hills and mountain range it's a system of it's a group of mountains and the hills having several ridges peaks and valleys mountain chain consists of several parallel long and narrow mountain ranges of different period so they are formed du during different geological time scales whereas mountain system if we say they are formed during the same period the next term is cordillera they consist of mountains of several groups and system so cordillera cordillera so they are formed they are they, are, they consist of mountains of several groups and system they are called as cordillera and next we are going to we are going to learn about classification they are classified on the basis of height and they are classified on the basis of origin and they are classified on the basis of location and on the basis of geological time scale so now first we are going to see about on the basis of height they are classified into four groups low mountains rough mountains rugged mountains high mountains low mountains with 700 meter to 1000 meter height rough mountains with 1000 meter to 1500 meter height rugged mountains with 1500 meter to 2000 meter height and high mountains is about 2000 meter height on the basis of location they can be classified into continental mountains and oceanic mountains so continental mountain motion mountains can be further classified into inland mo inland mountains and coastal mountains inland mountains which is inside the continent so they are hima example himalayas ural mountains arawalis whereas coastal mountains mountains they are found near the coastal regions like rockies alpine mountain chains etc oceanic mountains they are found in the oceans some are below the sea level some are above the sea level and most of these oceanic mountains are formed by volcanic activity so on the basis of mode of origin they can be classified into on the they uh, they can be classified into tectonic mountains tectonic mountains and circum erosional or relic mountains so tectonic mountains are formed due to endogenic forces like tectonic and tectonic soil compressive forces and it has four types one is folded mountains they are originated by originated by compressive forces these can be old these folded mountains can be old folded mountains mature folded mountains young folded mountains for example for young folded mountains is himalayas so they are compressed a landform say this is a landform here the compression is taking place continuously it is get, getting compressed compressed and such kind of folded mountains are formed so during based on the geological time scale they are classified into old mature and young folded mountains block mountains say this is a crest so this region is uplifting when we come this region is uplifting this region is so they are this up, uplifted fort is called uplifted portion is called block mountains so originated by tensile forces example rift valleys and horst mountains are formed so even block mountains are called as horst horst mountains example harz mountains which is in germany dome mountains formed due to magmatic intrusion upward and up upwarping of crustal surface upwarping of crustal surface example black hills of black hills of north america dome mountains are have, have dome shaped mountains then that is formed due to up, the when the magma the molten magma when it is rising upward it's cooled down and solidified to form this kind of dome mountains next one is volcanic mountains formed by lava accumulation example mount kilimanjaro the next type is circum erosional or relict mountains they are formed by either erosive or constructive forces like arawalis and eastern ghats are some example for this circum erosional or relict mountains on the basis of period of origin they can be classified into precambrian caledonian hercynian alpine mountains so precambrian mountains are the oldest mountains which is are which is about 600 million ago they were formed and example laurentian mountains algoman mountains Caledonian mountains formed during Silurian period Devonian period Caledonian mountains are also called as mid paleozoic orogenic mountains and they are they are formed during Silurian and Devonian period example Arawalis and Satpura Hercynian mountains are formed during Permian and Permo Carboniferous period example Altai mountains Harz mountain and Baikal mountains Alpine mountains are formed during the tertiary period which are the youngest mountains and example rockies andes himalayas atlas so these are the alpine mountains they are the recent mount 
alpine mountains are formed recent period that is alpine period alpine mountains tertiary period during tertiary period they were formed so now here some images so here we can see many important mountains so rockies mountains they run from uh, canada to canada to new mexico so this mountain is near the western north america and this is a cascade range this is the appalachian mountains which is in north america and andes andes mountain which runs from north to south in south america and andes mountains is, is one of the longest mountain range and our alps mountain which is in southern region of europe At atlas mountain is in northern africa drakensberg mountain mountain it is in south africa so atlas in north africa urals mountain urals mountain which it is an it acts like a natural boundary which is separates europe and asia and tian shan mountain which is in central asia altai which is in tensera altai mountain which is in central asia pamir nord so this is important region here from pamir nord pamir mountain mountain ranges in central asia at the it's a junction it's a junction where the himalayas with the himalayas with the tian shan karakoram kunlun altai kunlun hindu kush and suleman ranges so this spread like this so from pamir nord these mountain ranges just runs like this Solomon Rajas and Hindu Raj ranges and all they appear like this in, from Pamir Nath. So important region is Pamir Nath here, which is in Central Asia. And Ethiopian Highlands, this is Ethiopian Highlands, Great Dividing Range or Aust Australian Alps. So they are in the eastern region. So this is 